guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is episode 14 of the new build series. This episode we get a lot of the gable block work done, well all of the gable block work done up to wall plate height and um, back up one of the thermalite panels we did last week. Uh, we do a little bit of cleaning up and loading out, nothing too special. So yeah, without further ado, let's get cracked into the video. Hope you enjoy. Right, it's Tuesday morning, sun shining. As you've just seen, we've got all our muck and our tools up. Matt's gonna be over there building that gable up today because you can get four solid through. And I'm gonna be getting this lintel on and these uh, two corners pulled through. Excuse me if I sound a bit funny because uh, I've got a cold in this lovely weather. How about that? So yeah, and um, I don't know if I've put it in the video or not, but yesterday, we insulated <coughs> these uh, two long sides here. So yeah, all good. So if I haven't put it in a video, you'll see a clip of that now. And uh, yeah, so I won't bother recording getting these because uh, I've only got a block and a cut there. I obviously have to mock up a little uh, corner, well, to the two reveals this side. So I won't bother filming that. So I'll catch you back when I've got the uh, lintel on. Yes now. Right then, we've got the lintel one. It's looking pretty good. There you go. It's pretty simple getting this one to height. Screw down there. Don't know if you can see it, but we've got a screw down there. And then we just lay the back edge to the line. Obviously making sure that these edges don't clash with our blocks. So we can actually lay our blocks through rather than the uh, this edge pushing our blocks out. Just need to flush in everything underneath, get the cuts either side, and then we can crack, crack everything back up. So yeah, I'll get those cuts done, and that'll probably be it for the day. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Right, Wednesday morning. 
we've just sent all our all our tools up in the muck tub you know work smart not hard just gonna get some muck on and then today Matt's gonna be on this side he's gonna get one more course of thermite on there one more sheet of insulation and crack this gable up in block work see we do have a window setting out on this course here so you know this is one straight panel all the way up I'll be over that side you see yesterday I put the lintel on I've got to I don't know if you can see it there but I've got to put a small cut to bring the lintel back to level so I'll rip that down with a petrol cutter in a minute and then I can send that block work through solid because after that there's no windows on that gable so now I can flip on the outside and then send the concrete block work through solid oh excuse me so yeah I'll get that sorted, Matt will get this end sorted and then we'll see how we go Well, the last thing you would have seen is uh, getting that inside course of thermalite up. And um, yeah, just quickly insulated it, uh, built extended the corners up, so then you can get this section here to, to height. Obviously, trays in there. See, there you go, that's all up. And then while I've been, uh, been around the back here doing it, you can see Matt's built his side up as well. There we go. Here's top grafter. Yeah. It's got the window set out. See, that's the height. Just got to get a bit of insulation on, but block work's still a bit wet. So yeah, we've got a brick to go on there to get us to wall plate height. And then we can uh, carry on building up the gables. The wasps. Yes, now. Well, you've just seen us get this block work through. That's now this height up to where we need it for the next lift because we're going to have a shallow lift here because obviously that's our wall plate height. So yeah, pretty good. Been well hot today, I think in 24, 25 degrees. So yeah, tomorrow's job, get this wall the way up because it's Wednesday today and next week, Wednesday, so we have scaffold going up. So yeah, not obviously not too hard. It'll probably take a day to get this one up. But um, yeah, we allowed a couple of days just to clean up all our clean up all our mess we've made. And um, yeah, we can get the front up as well. So yeah, pretty good day. So obviously, uh, Matt's uh, got his up as well. Over here, window set out. Just need to get a couple more on now just to get the window pillars formed. So we'll crack on with that as well. So yeah, see you tomorrow. All right, it's Thursday morning. I'm running the forklift. Just loaded up all our tools into the muck tub to get them up on the scaffold. I'm gonna sling up there to Matt. 
and after that I'll get a mix on and um, we'll get that back all cracked up. So yeah, we'll get these up and get a mix on.
loaded out all these blocks through here. And Matt's finished the last two courses on this side, so now we're going to get a line up and crack this wall up. See if we can get it all done.
Oh, this block's got a rash on it. Well, there you go. That's the uh, back wall, hopefully up to height. We're not quite sure, because uh, the uh, roof joists might be finishing higher or sitting on it. So we'll have to see when that comes. But yeah, it's a good few blocks chucked in there. I think a couple hours are on it. I'm sure we could like to say uh, IMEX lines. Just used it on this wall here. Yeah, pretty good. Before, been using the uh, Marshalltown string, but as you can see, they're a bit thick. This line here, as you can see, is uh, thinner. And uh, yeah, so we can wrench this uh, quite tight, which is always good, because you know you don't want to build with a loose line. So yeah, if you are on the market for a new string line, the uh, IMEX contractor's line, I think it's pretty good. It's a little bit more expensive, I think it's about £10 for this roll. So yeah, you know, if you need a new string line, I'll go with this. Seems pretty good. So yeah, tomorrow, we're just going to be tidying up the scaffold because next week they're coming to uh, put another lift on about this height because if you remember, wall plates going on here. So yeah, catch you tomorrow. Right, here we go. It's Friday morning. As you can see, the scaffold's looking a bit different to yesterday. Matt's just been up here and uh, giving it a good clean. So yeah, it's all looking good. I've just been down there cleaning out all the cavities, just uh, pulling all our battens out. I don't know if you remember, all through the uh, cavities we had a, uh, like a bit of timber so all our droppings will get caught on it. So yeah, I think after that we're going to uh, get those blocks up, stack them up here so we can uh, get a bit of this wall cracked up next week. We've still got a fair bit of cleaning up to do on the inside as well. 
So probably won't film much of it because you know it's a bit boring sweeping up. So yeah, I think you'll probably see us unloading the blocks and then that'll be it. So I'll see you then. <laughs> do us a friday it's just started raining i don't know if you can see that it might be able to hear it we just mainly cleaned up all of the plot just to well just to take over the day because we need the scaffold building up again to carry on with the block work so you might have seen us load out a few blocks getting ready for the the front side over there because that scaffold ain't going up it's only the gable and this long back edge here so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video this week. I know there's been quite a lot of block work going on. I tried to get a bit more footage on the GoPro as well, so I hope you enjoy that. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, see you next week. <laughs>